Welcome to our five on five. I'm pleased to be joined today in studio by independent Jackson County Commissioner candidate Al Densmore. Al, thanks for being here. Thank you very much for the invitation, Craig. So you've, you've been a state legislator. You've been Medford mayor. You've been a Medford city councilor. Why are you running for county commissioner? Well, Craig, I believe that the county commissioner role is very important in the county. Uh, and even though it can be narrowly defined as m mostly looking out for the areas outside of Jackson County, I believe the county commissioners as full-time policymakers can be so much more helpful in working with smaller communities, working with rural neighborhoods, um, and just um, enlarging the conversation on key issues that the county faces. I referenced the, the positions you've held. What is your biggest accomplishment in politics? You know, I think the most uh, uh, important thing that I feel that I've done is to be a collaborative person in the community working on projects. You know, and I think the single most important uh, accomplishment I felt was working with the community and helping to rebuild the playground at Bear Creek Park. You were previously a Democrat, but now you're running as an independent, as I referenced. Why? Well, I've been an independent for the last several years, Craig, because I believe that the job of the county commissioners really isn't and should be a, shouldn't be a partisan one. We, there isn't a red or blue way to do public safety, public health, or county roads, or, or uh, mental health, or, or any of those homelessness, those key issues. And I believe as an independent, uh, I can help lead us into uh, common ground to find those good solutions. You've criticized the Jackson County Board of Commissioners for not taking a leadership role while well, the county was in a medical crisis in 2021, the, the height of the Delta variant. The, the letter signed by you and others took the board to task for not giving, quote, strong and unequivocal support for basic health measures such as social distancing or mask wearing, end quote. What would you have done in their position? Well, I think I'd been much more... Uh aggressive and trying to speak out to the community. I know that the commissioners have done some excellent things in terms of creating the vaccination sites, but you know, leaders need to lead. And I believe in this case, uh, like for example, the, the commissioners created some television spots uh, to urge the community to take the fire resistant measures that they need to take as individuals. I think we could have done public service or announcements with commissioners urging people to get the vaccination because that was our key measure to stop the pandemic. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll have much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our five on five. Again, I'm here with independent Jackson County Commissioner candidate Al Densmore. Uh, Al, what issue isn't being talked about this election season that deserves more time? You know, I think, Craig, one of the things that's happened in the course of this campaign for me is I've got a chance to meet a lot of great people with some great ideas. And uh, one of the, the ideas that's out there that should be worked on heavily is uh, working to create more expansive public health uh, capacity for us. Uh, the folks at La Clinica, for example, are about to embark on a capital campaign campaign to improve their urgent care capacity and capacity in the event of a pandemic emergency. And I think that's an example of something that the county hasn't identified as a priority, but should. You've spoken about changing the, the Board of Commissioners to five people as opposed to its current three and doing it based on, on regions in the county, sort of like city council wards. Uh, how would you accomplish that? Well, I believe first we would appoint a study committee, I think, Craig, and make sure that broadly representative people in the county would agree with that notion. And then beyond that, I think what we would do is ask the voters to change the county charter to expand the board from three to five uh, and actually use the same level of salaries so we wouldn't be talking about more money. But and then going to the district's idea is my idea of making sure that even though we have three commissioners who are accountable or you know, representative and responsible, uh, they aren't really accountable to anyone. So whether you live in Gold Hill or Shady Cove or Ashland or Medford, you, you need to have someone that you can go to and represent you on the commission. 
Should the county be doing more to address the mental health and homeless issues locally? Yes, and I think they should do it in collaboration. The county, for example, turned down a grant for homelessness uh, 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 assistance and, and programming uh, earlier. Uh, and I think they should have partnered up significantly with the city. The city has uh, already committed over the last two or three years $18 million on this most important program uh, and most important need. I think the county needs to lean in and help. Thank you so much for joining us today. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Stay with us. We'll be right back.